meteorologist Lexi Birmingham with your first alert storm team forecast. Well, good morning everyone. Happy Sunday. Well, it was certainly a very hot afternoon yesterday and it looks like today it's going to be no different as high temperatures get back up into the middle and upper 90s while also seeing a chance for isolated showers and storms, especially during the afternoon. And it just looks like the summertime pattern will be sticking around even as we head into the new work week. Let's start off with a live look. This is USA Health Providence Hospital, our all in credit union camera, seeing a beautiful soft color from the sunrise getting underway. Meanwhile, we can see see that as well from Pensacola Beach from our generator guys camera and we're also seeing a few light clouds out there as well. Temperatures starting off warm this morning in the 70s for most 77 in Bay Minette, 79 in Loxley and Gulf Shores. Meanwhile, it's 85 on Dauphin Island, 81 degrees in Fort Walton Beach, but we will quickly warm up into the middle and upper 90s later on this afternoon, especially along into the north of I-10. You could possibly see a high of 99 for Evergreen, Monroeville, 98 for Grove Hill, possibly 100 for Jackson and in Leakesville. Meanwhile, temperatures near the coast will look somewhat better with 91 on Dolphin Island and 92 for Gulf Shores. Keep in mind, though, that's not including the feels like temperature, aka the heat index values, which will be well until the triple digits this afternoon, anywhere from 105 to 110, especially during the middle half of the afternoon. So at this point, you guys know what to do at this point. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water and taking those frequent breaks inside AC cold buildings if you have outdoor plans for today. And heat advisories have been issued once again for most of the News 5 neighborhood except for Monroe and Conecca counties. That'll start at 10 a.m. this morning and continue until 7 p.m. and we'll most likely continue to see heat advisories issued for our area as we head into the new work week. And some showers and storms are already popping off this morning. Zooming in just a little bit closer here, we could see some showers and storms around Fort Morgan, Cedar Grove, and Bon Secours kind of heading towards Gulf Shores and Orange Beach. Also some developing just offshore of our media coastline. About a 40% chance that you will need those green and Phillips umbrellas at some point during the day today. So let's go ahead and look at our news five predictor here as the daytime heating starts to kick in. A couple of pop up showers will develop as we head into the lunch hour and then become a little bit more isolated and scattered as we head into the afternoon and evening. Everything will slowly wrap up around 10 p.m. later on tonight and we should be off to a mostly dry start for your Monday with some scattered clouds and winds out of the west and some good news. Tropical development not expected over the next seven days. We kind of have some Saharan dust kind of sitting in the Atlantic Basin, and when we have that dry, dusty air, it kind of inhibits the development of tropical systems, so we can rest easy for now, but just keep in mind, we are far from done from this year's hurricane season. Looking at your extended forecast, hot temperatures will be sticking around in the middle to upper 90s over the next several days, with chances for scattered storms, especially during the afternoon. And then by the end of the week, we'll kind of see a flip flop. Rain chances will increase by Thursday, Friday and next weekend. And as a result, those temperatures may drop off just a bit back into the lower 90s. Uh -huh.